Hey guys, welcome to the Richest Real Estate Agent Podcast, where there's way better metrics in life than measuring rich than just GCI. We're gonna talk to the top influencers in real estate and top influencers in the mindset space. We're gonna break down the emotional intelligence needed to be successful as an agent and stay there for 20 years. Welcome to the show, let's get at it. Hey guys, I just want to talk about the imposter syndrome. First of all, the moment that we label something, people get stuck to it. Just like, just unreal how people are like, oh, it's a syndrome. I must have, I must be broken. As soon as there's a classification on some kind of psychological problem, people start finding a way to align themselves to be broken. The imposter syndrome is absolutely not even a thing. Are you kidding me? Think about this. Imposter syndrome is being human. Do you think that if you go online and, and, and you post that, you know, you're having a good day and the next day you have a fight with your family, okay? Welcome to being human, but you don't post it. So then you have uh, an image out there that doesn't match your reality. But here's the thing. That's everybody. No one's posting in the middle of a fight with your with your with your loved one, with your partner, with your kids, you're not going to slap up an Insta Live, go on to Facebook and say, let's record this so we don't have imposter syndrome. Are you kidding me? Everything about life, you grow up and you're supposed to be a certain way, believe certain things. And we're sitting here going, well, well, how do I live? How do I show, uh, be, you know, politically correct? If you're, if you're born in a, in a strict family, it's where does the fork go? On which side of the actual table does it go? Guys, we've been trying to figure out what we are and who we aren't, who we are since we came out of the womb. You're going to feel like an imposter because that's the life journey. You have a vision of who you want to be, but you're not acting like who you want to be. But guess what? This is the thing to figure out. Lighten up. Imposter syndrome? Like you've got some kind of effing disease? How the hell are you going to wake up in the morning and want to live and be filled with energy if you're walking around with this disease called imposter syndrome? Look, you got to try to be yourself. And know what? Who the hell knows what that is? I'm trying to figure it out too. This is my mission is that I'm going to try to be myself without hesitation, but I still hesitate. There's days where I'm depressed and I don't want to show people that I'm depressed. That doesn't mean that I have an imposter syndrome. Think about this, guys. All the areas in your life that you feel maybe ashamed of or embarrassed of, guess what? Let's talk about that. Let's get used to just accepting who we are as our ambition is high, as we want the best life we can live. But understand that nobody, nobody has a perfect representation to the public of who they are. Nobody. Guess what? I'm trying my best to be real every day, but I don't have a freaking imposter syndrome. But there's days that I feel like a fake. There's days that I feel like, man, if only people saw my bad side, nobody would want to talk to me if they knew who I really was. That is human. Lighten up. You don't have imposter syndrome. Stop putting these labels on yourself. You're human. Think about it, everyone. Have an amazing day. Embrace who you are. Go win. You've already won the race. You've already won the race. Find your tribe one at a time. Guess what, guys? You're amazing. You just have to believe it. Cheers. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening to the whole episode. I just want to remind you, realestatebootcamp.com. This is a place where we're really transforming hustlers into business owners, a place where we're actually designing your life and finding the business model and the style of business that actually is going to serve the life that you want, helping you get really clear on what makes you happy versus just chasing the next deal. That is tiring. It's going to cost relationships. Check it out, realestatebootcamp.com. Let's chat.